Hi, it's Ian from the Postal Hub Podcast. And Marek from Last Mile Experts. And we are The Last Mile Profits. This is the last word on The Last Mile. This video is created thanks to Modern Expo, one of the key players in the world's parcel locker market. Modern Expo's product portfolio includes innovative solutions with refrigeration and freezing cells, Bluetooth locks, and even personal parcel lockers. Marek, we were at Parcel and Post Expo just recently in Frankfurt, and as always, there are a few. There's a bit of sorting technology on display. Marek, you had a chat to a few of the manufacturers. Absolutely. We, we saw several different approaches. We also so saw uh, a new kid on the block in the form of Honeywell, which is quite interesting. I think you'll enjoy it. This technology is really moving forward. And, and you sideways. Know, this is <laughs> forward and sideways and, and robotically developing. So I think, you know, you'll enjoy the material and uh, looking forward to comments. Hey, Mary. Adam, it's great to see you at Post Expo. Likewise. Um, we wanted to share a little bit from the sorting equipment space because we usually have electric vehicles and lockers. So tell us, this, is there something that you're particularly proud of and you'd like to share with us? Yeah, I think the most exciting thing we're, we're talking about today on stand and at the Expo is our robotic auto induct solution. Uh, so people have talked about robotics being applied in this realm for quite a long time. Um, and I feel we're really making it making it happen now. Uh, so we have a new uh, auto induct robot uh, developed in partnership with, uh, with AWL, uh, which is singulating small parcels. So mm-hmm. dealing with a, a real industry challenge at the moment with uh, mm-hmm. increasing volumes of small parcels. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a, a solution that's designed to work in harmony with the workforce rather than necessarily replace all of it. Um, and it's, it could be quite a step forward early days, but a good step forward to introduce robotics robotics in, in a real way into the parcel automation market. Fabio, so it's really great to see you at Post Expo. Um, we typically don't have too many companies with sorting equipment that we talk to, so I'm excited to be talking to you. Yeah. Can you tell us about this equipment because it looks really interesting? Yeah, this is the most innovative uh, sorter based on uh, autonomous mobile robots and uh, we have developed uh, uh, recently but we have already had uh, great success with uh, many installations in Europe and the US. Uh, this is uh, based on uh, autonomous navigation and can sort in an extremely small footprint compared to any other sorter. This is one of the beauties of this and we can use also our uh, strength and our uh, knowledge on uh, automatic uh, sorters to load also automatically and this is the only one in the market with uh, these uh, wow. capabilities. So Sneha, it's really great to see Honeywell at Post Expo. Tell me, is there something that you are particularly proud of that you are presenting at this exhibition? Uh, Honeywell of course is known for its automation, right? And we are happy to be here as part of Post and Parcel Expo. Considering that it's Post and Parcel Expo and sorting is one of the most important tasks in the Post and Parcel, we are very proud of our sortation systems. The sortation systems have been established in the US now and we are bringing over the technology to Europe here right now and we are bringing our shoe sorters and prospect sorters to uh, Europe and that's the product we are most proud about. Uh, they are high throughput sorters uh, that can carry heavy uh, weights, perfect for post and parcel industry in Europe. So I'm really delighted to be here at Post Expo with a Polish company which is why we specially highlighted you. So Adam, tell us about your sorting equipment. Is there something particular you'd like to share with us well yes thank you very much for this opportunity to introduce our uh, machine this is unique modular standalone sorting system for different kind of uh, parcels uh, up to 30 kilograms the main advantages of this equipment is modular construction of the device there is one belt and one drive so it's easy to install easy for commissioning and uh, the sorting capacity is up to 4,000 parcels per hour. So we believe this solution well could be a potential benefit for our potential customers. So Marek, that's four different companies there with their approach to sorting and automation, I mean, automation, I know I keep coming back to this idea of automation in the postal sector, I suppose more broadly in the delivery sector. But we've seen you know, what Escher is doing in automating the retail experience and in automating a Pudo experience, whereas traditionally in the delivery sector, we're looking at automating sorting 
and just being able to process parcels quicker and to be able to process them, I don't say round the clock because I'm not sure how many parcel centres are working literally round the clock apart from a peak season, but there's this real focus on being able to sort quickly, sort accurately, and, and and what's it being driven by, Matic? It's being driven by e-commerce retailers, and who are they? Who's being who's driving them? It's yeah. the consumer. Absolutely, and I, I think Ian, it's it's exactly as you said. Uh, you need shorter and shorter cutoff times, so this, the 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 automated sorting is important. There, we also have to remember it's also because labour is quite expensive and does things like strike especially sometimes. if you're having to get people to work at night. I mean, Absolutely. whilst working at night works for some people, let's be perfectly honest. That's there's a reason why penalty rates exist. It's because people don't really want to work, will be away from their families at night time. Absolutely, and 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 you know, again, as, as I mentioned just now. You know, industrial action, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, machines don't strike; they don't get sick; they don't ask for pay rises. So, uh, I think it is it is important, of course. And this technology gives you gives you, I would say, this efficiency, non labor related efficiency, and allows you for, to have shorter cutoff times. What was interesting, I think, Ian, is that we had different types of companies. So you had you know players that we all love and know, like uh, Vandalanda Fives. We have the new kid on the block, as I mentioned at the very beginning of the, the video, Honeywell, with some interesting ideas there. And then because it was Polish, we, we had to have our friends from Sigma because we there was actually one Polish company there that, that we found. And I think, you know, each of them have got something to offer. I hope people have enjoyed the, the material. But we need to say, Ian, don't we, that this was probably about a quarter of the exhibitors in oh yeah we, we didn't have a chance to get around to every single sorting company that was out there that was it was good just to have to have a chat to a few of them and i'll be interested to hear what people have to say you know what, where do you think sorting technology is going what for me is interesting though Matt, i just want to really wrap it up quickly though is that we've been talking about in the industry about how to handle those soft parcels and things like that where you know boxes you chuck them on a conveyor belt you can stack them and all those sorts of things now you see the technology that's able to handle those you know, soft packets. We will be able to get to the point where those you know, sub two kilogram packets don't fly off conveyor belts. Well, we'll see. But these, these are sort of the interesting things I'm looking at in, in, in sorting technology right now. Indeed, Ian. I, I think you know, technology is developing so fast that, that probably the next step is going to be moving to, to, to more humanoid type machines that can do a lot more flexible tasks. Let's see, but but it's certainly interesting. There's so many things that happen in those sorting centres, aren't there, Mark? I know we're in, the, in danger of running out of time here. It's not just about conveyor belts. It's about moving pallets around. It's about moving cages around. It's about emptying out cages. It's about getting the cage onto the back of trucks. Anyway, Mark, I, I think we might wrap it up here, but please, everybody, comment below. Let us know what you think about the advances in sorting technology and where you think things are going, what it means for the delivery world. Thank you for watching this video on YouTube. Remember, hit like, subscribe, and the notifications bell so that you get all of our wonderful videos live, not live, but published in your feed on YouTube. And tell your friends as well, even if they have no interest in the postal or delivery sector. Say, hey, you know what? I see that you're watching a lot of unboxing videos. Why do you watch these guys? It has nothing to do with unboxing. Expand your mind. I don't know. Do whatever you like, everybody, as long as you subscribe and hit the notifications bell. I'm a happy man. Marek Krzyzewski, thanks for being part of the Last Mile Profits today. Thank you, and thank you, everyone.